Welcome at the wastewater treatment plant in Utrecht, situated right in the city center. Here, we treat the wastewater produced by the city and its surrounding villages. Please let me take you on a tour through our new Narita technology plant. My name is Maxime van Wijgen and I'm a process engineer at the Dutch Water Authority, the Stichtse Rijnlanden. The Nareda plant in Utrecht treats wastewater of 430,000 inhabitants. The Stichtse Rijnlanden selected the Nareda technology because it enables us to reach strict effluent requirements while operating in a compact plant. The new plant is able to remove twice as much nitrogen and phosphorus from the wastewater as the old plant could. The new strict requirements in place are for total nitrogen and total phosphorus, 5 and 0.5 mg per liter, respectively. The old plant was not able to achieve such results. The Noreda process is also much faster and also around 30% more energy efficient. As there is no need for large post settling tanks, a great deal of space has been saved. Thanks to Nereda technology, the 14 settling tanks that were in operation in the old plant are no longer necessary. Due to this compact nature of the plant, we were able to construct the new plant alongside the existing plant. The old plant was removed from service as soon as the new plant was commissioned. Here the wastewater enters our facility. Utrecht and its surrounding villages produce up to 65 million liters wastewater per day. And during rain weather conditions, this can go up to even 13 million liters per hour. Behind me, you see two sets of screens, coarse screens and fine screens. These corn screens are designed to filter out any items bigger than five centimeters. You can think of plastic bottles or sticks and the fine screens are there to filter out any other type of debris bigger than six millimeters. So here you can think about feminine care products or baby wipes. Behind me, you see the influent buffer. From here, the influent that is now cleared from debris is pumped to one of the six Narita reactors. During dry weather conditions, only one reactor is fed at a time but during rain weather conditions, two reactors are fed at a time. And this system ensures that the Nareda is capable of handling all sorts of weather conditions. The Nareda cycle consists of three operational steps. Feed, aeration and settling. In the first feed step, Influent is fed to the bottom of the reactor, while at the same time the effluent is decanted from the top of the reactor, hence the term fill and draw. Also in this step, the feeding step, phosphorus is temporarily released and the whole step takes approximately one hour. The influent enters through the influent distribution piping and raw wastewater flows up through the settled granules. Anaerobic conditions provide biomass conditioning and phosphorus release occurs. The treated water is displaced towards the overflow weir assembly and discharged as highly purified water. All important biological reactions take place in sludge granules during the reaction or aeration phase. Here I have a sample of such granules. What happens is that nitrification takes place on the outside of the granule where there's access to oxygen. Denitrification happens on the inside of the granule where there's an anoxic environment. Also in this step, phosphorus is taken up by the granules where, as I told you before, during the fill and draw phase, phosphorus is released. The whole reaction step takes about two hours.
The process is monitored and optimized by online analyzers. Manual sampling is still important and needed for proper monitoring of the biomass. Like with activated sludge, it is easy to collect a sample of the active biomass. However, as granules settle easily, it is best to sample when the reactor is in early aeration and well mixed. After the aeration step, the water has been treated to meet the requirements. In a very short settling step, the treated water is separated from the sludge. With this sample, I can show you how quickly that happens. After the settling of the sludge, the Nereda cycle starts all over again. The Nereda is able to meet the effluent requirements but to be on the safe side under any type of circumstances, a tertiary step is put in place. Behind me, you see the Nereda effluent flowing through pipes, which is going through a sand filter to polish the effluent further. This filter removes the last traces of phosphorus. Finally, at the end of its journey, the water or effluent that has been treated by the Nereda reactors flows to the river De Vecht. Similar to activated sludge plant operation, biomass characteristics in the reactor can be followed by measuring the dry solid content and sludge volume. In addition, from time to time, one can follow the size distribution through a simple sludge grading procedure. This is our control room. Here we have the specific Nereda controller, which works in close cooperation with the SCADA system. The plant has been in operation for two years and already in its first year, 2019, the Nereda Utrecht Wastewater Project won the Global Water Award. The city of Utrecht is now equipped with a compact installation that meets the highest standards and will help the Stichtse Rijnlanden fulfill its duties when it comes to wastewater management in Utrecht and is ready for the coming decades. Thank you for your visit.